Boston will use a timeout. They controlled the jump ball and had a plan in place to call a timeout. They didn't have enough time. It's over. Nah, no way. There is no way that this has happened again. Not a chance. There is zero chance that this keeps happening. How does this keep happening? Why is this a thing? I literally just made a video about the Lakers come back in the fourth quarter and that video wasn't even done uploading yet before this happened. There is another one. At first I thought the Suns one was super wild and crazy. I was so shocked when I first saw that comeback and now it's happened three times in the course of about a month. This is insane. Three of the top five largest fourth quarter comebacks have happened within the past month alone. I don't know what that says about the league, but all I know is that it's crazy that it keeps happening. You know, I was going through the ESPN app like I usually do, checking on the scores of games, looking to see what happened around the league, and the Cavs were down. It was like the end of the third quarter, and I was like, okay, maybe the Celts got that one. Anyway, I moved on. I went to bed, and I woke up the next morning only to find this. What? I do also want to mention that there was a foul that was reversed at the end of the game. It's interesting because with the challenge rules now, you can review calls and get them overturned. But back then, that wasn't really a thing. So maybe if this happens like three or four years ago, the Celtics come away with a win and you don't look at them as choking away a huge fourth quarter lead. But that's not the case and this did happen now i was looking at this foul on jason tatum that they called initially and if you see it in real time it does look like he crowds his landing space so it's a foul after they slow it down i don't think that there's enough to overturn this call but that's just me personally like if they hadn't made it live but the fact that they overturned it is kind of a little bit odd to me uh, I keep watching it, it was a foul, but I just don't think that there was enough to overturn it. It's like a call stands type of deal. I'ma let people smarter than me decide whether or not that was a foul. I just wanna focus on the fact that the Celtics collapsed in historic fashion, which is mental. D Wade went off in the fourth quarter. Well, not, not that D Wade, this D Wade. There's a new sheriff in town, baby. This Cavaliers team is actually quite scary. I think I need to do a video about them to take a deeper dive into what they got going on and their prospects in the playoffs because they can actually make a deep run. And keep in mind, this was without Donovan Mitchell. So that just adds to the impressive nature of this comeback win. I think for me personally, this comeback is more impressive than both the Suns and the Lakers one because they did not have their star player during this game. Oh, also, they did this against the team with the best record in the league. Not just the Eastern Conference, but the entire league. Each one of these happened against really good teams. Like, I believe every team that had this happen to them was top five in their conference at the time that it happened, with the exception of maybe the Kings, but research will tell me that. And I'll put a little graphic up in the video if I'm right or wrong. But yeah, this is unbelievable. There's another fourth quarter comeback of 20 plus points or more. I had a super awesome, never done before funny meme that I posted to all the meme places all over the internet. And now it's already obsolete. Like, you can't be doing this to me, NBA. I need to meme. At least let the other one settle before this one happens. So if you're counting, that's two 20 plus fourth quarter comebacks over the course of a week. Absolutely terrifying. Unfortunately, just like the other comebacks, I didn't see this one live because when teens get blown out these days, they usually get blown out. 
I think there have been more 40 and 50 point blowouts this season than in any other season in NBA history. And that's purely conjecture. It just seems that way. Also, the Celtics have the most 50 point wins in a season. They've done it three times this year, which is a crazy stat in and of itself. But then to have the comeback happen to you is just as wild. I say all that to say that that's the reason why I wasn't watching this game. Once I saw that they were up double digits, I pretty much thought that that was the end. But just like so many other times with these comebacks, it ain't over till it's over. So I'll just take the Celtics name and add them right here to the list of teams that blew a fourth quarter lead of 20 points or more. And now I have another team to laugh at for choking in the fourth. But what do you guys think? Did you see this game? Are you astonished that these comebacks keep happening? Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you feel so inclined and I'll catch you guys on the next one.